Greetings and gestures. How the English speaking world says, hello. Hello, dear learners. Today, we'll dive into a fascinating topic. Greetings in English speaking countries. More specifically, we'll focus on handshakes and other physical gestures. So, whether you're traveling, studying, or just curious, this video will help you navigate social introductions with ease. The handshake is a universal greeting, but there are some nuances in English-speaking countries. 1. Firmness. Generally, a firm handshake is appreciated. It's seen as a sign of confidence and trustworthiness. However, it shouldn't be too strong to the point of causing discomfort. 2. Duration. A handshake usually lasts for about 2 to 3 seconds. Too short might be considered rude, while too long can be awkward. 3. Eye contact. Maintaining good eye contact during a handshake is crucial. It portrays sincerity and interest in the person you're meeting. While a handshake is standard, there are some variations and additional gestures you might encounter. 1. The double hand. Sometimes, the person might use their free hand to grasp the other person's forearm or even the top of their hand during a handshake. This is seen as a gesture of warmth and genuine interest. 2. The hug. In more informal settings, especially among friends, a brief hug might follow a handshake. It's a way to show closeness and affection. 3. Cheek kiss. Depending on the region and personal preferences, one or two cheek kisses might be exchanged, especially between close friends or family. This is more common in European-influenced cultures. While handshakes are common, there are other physical gestures too. 1. The wave. A simple, open-handed wave is common among friends, especially if they're at a distance. It's informal and friendly. 2. The nod. A subtle nod, especially among men, can be a casual way to acknowledge someone, say in passing or when a full greeting isn't possible. 3. The fist bump. Growing in popularity, especially among younger generations, the fist bump is a casual and playful way to greet, especially among friends. Understanding the nuances of greetings in English-speaking countries can make social interactions smoother and more pleasant. Remember, while it's good to know the general etiquette, always pay attention to social cues and the context. We hope this video has shed light on the diverse ways people in English-speaking regions greet each other. Until next time, keep learning and exploring the beauty of cultures.